Hey everyone, so today we have this nice uh, MacBook in here for repair. And this one, it's the A1932 uh, MacBook Air. And we do have it in for repair today because uh, it is having trouble. It's going to be an error. I know it's just a basic uh, installation. You would think it would be very easy and straightforward. But then again, sometimes they just really aren't. So customer came in and just wanted to have the, the data wiped and everything. Just have like a brand new operating system. And they just want to use it that way. So, of course, you know, it does sound like it's pretty straightforward. We have lots of bootable USBs here. We can put on, we can put on some of the older versions of the OS if they want to. Um, or we can put on the latest. Obviously, this one is a 1932, so it can take in uh, Big Sur if you want to do that. So, uh, we did try. If you actually do look, uh, we did try a few things. If we just tried a basic one, we tried usually our USB installer. And for some reason, the USB installer would always go to Internet Recovery. I'm not too sure why it would do this, but it would keep doing that every time you try to plug it in and you try it. I tried it with a few different ones and I wasn't really able to actually get it up and running. I tried the Big Sur and we also have an older one like a High Sierra. I do know some of these um, models do have um, like an older one as of like a Catalina or they might have some High Sierra built into the their little firmware for when you do a recovery. Um, we did try that and we did every time it would go to internet recovery. We try to go through there, right? Because that's what it wants to do. So when you type in the password, we do everything for the Wi Fi connection. Um, you do, it does load and it does get this very specific error. So this error, I've actually haven't really seen this error before, but we have got it multiple times every time we actually did try to install any type of OS through a recovery um, and just any type of OS in general will go keep going to this error and it will keep bringing this up. So we went and we went ahead and we took a look at it. And as you can see, we actually do have, um, there's a page dedicated for this actual error. And if you look at it, it tells you to do a few things, how you can um, try to go through internet recovery, obviously like we did. And then it also does mention that this has an activation lock. So uh, we went through this and we did see that there is actually, in fact, an activation lock. The customer actually does have one. And uh, if you do look, you can actually go even on your phone or you can go to your iCloud and you can actually uh, remove it basically through there. So the customer did do that, and uh, unfortunately, we were still getting the same error over and over again. It does seem like it's more dedicated towards that activation lock, that there's something going on there, and that's why it's not letting you to boot from an external device as well as not being able to boot from an internet recovery device. So um, even though this was disabled, we still kept trying, and we still got the same error over and over again. Um, actually, I did find one thing that actually did work, and it somehow magically worked. I do have this uh, Catalina bootable, um, that actually did for some reason work. I'm not too sure why Catalina worked and why High Sierra didn't work and my Big Sur ones didn't work. We used them before. We, we do know that the Big Sur is a bootable. It's a local disk bootable and it should just work everything through there. You don't need any type of uh, internet connection or anything like that um, to make it work because it's a standalone device. As you boot from recovery, that's just how it will come from a bootable. But for this one, it's very strange how the Catalina one, actually, if you do look, um, this one for some reason just worked. So as you can see here, we did get it to work and it booted through the, through the USB recovery. And even from, from this one, what it does, it did show that there was still an activation lock, which is very strange because we did remove it from the Find My iPhone and the customer did actually remove it from their device listing. And some reason it's still kind of connected to there. Um, maybe there has to be another step of uh, authentication or something like that. But if it did have an activation lock and you removed it, it should totally go through that through the machine there. Um, but we still had to put in the credentials for that, the iCloud pa for iCloud account name and the password to get by this. And uh, it did work. Obviously, you can see now we can go through the steps and we will be able to install this totally fine on there. Um, but besides the point, if we didn't have this one specific USB for um, installing it, we wouldn't be able to bypass that for some strange reason. I I'm not too sure why. Um, this one does have a very specific one. Um, in this too, uh, we did check the motherboard just to make sure that there was no other issues with it, no corrosion or anything with that. We didn't see anything really on the board itself there that may have been causing the issue for it. Even the Wi-Fi connection was totally fine. Um, we even tried to Ethernet connection through it and it was totally fine through USB as well. But uh, it doesn't seem to be an actual internet issue because obviously you saw through the Catalina bootable that we did have. Um, it actually did work totally fine and it still went through the internet, which is very strange anyway So that one actually wasn't uh, a bootable that was more of like a tester that did have a recovery built into it So um, usually when you do recoveries on the older ones, uh, what you'll do is you'll get 
um, not an actual bootable on USB, but the test ones will actually hit, will ping the server, and it'll actually get a recovery from the server from there. So that was a Catalina recovery from the server. So it was very strange that we did see that. Um, just to let you guys know about that error and how we did to fix it. But if, if we didn't have those USBs, we wouldn't be able to do this, uh, obviously. Um, I'm not sure if there was a way maybe you can go through download mode and do it through another Mac. These A1932s do not have a hard drive that you can just pull out and remove. Um, their hard drives are built into the motherboard, so there's not much you can really do. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, found this to be very informative. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content, and uh, um, stay tuned. We do lots of liquid spill repairs, we do board repairs, and also any type of software that we see is very interesting. Something like this, uh, we see an error in our store. We always like to, to show um, any type of potential problems that you guys may have, especially if we're struggling with it, we would love to show you guys as well. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks a lot. Bye.